Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to do um, some awakened draconium and we'll also make the seed for that. We'll also go and have a look at uh, a mob spawner for grinding blazes in order to get blazing blood. So let's get started with the uh, awakened draconium. So as you can see everything's actually set up. Now what I hadn't realised on these is if you look at this on the right hand side in a sort of Below the minimap, which I can turn off, I don't need the minimap, you'll see a single item mode. So if you shift right click this, it goes to stack mode. And, what, and stack mode is the default, but when you're trying to put on lots of things into this, which are the same, if you use single item mode, you can put them, hold one stack in your hand and just put them on like that. This is ready. I've also upgraded this ult to an ultimate energy cube. The, the recipes for these are actually really not difficult at all, so I'm not going to cover them. But we've got 200, 100 million F. Fe in there, which is going to be needed for this type of work. So let's get started with this. Let's craft this up. So as you can see, we've got some draconium cores, six of those, plus a dragon's heart, which you get when you kill the dragon and the dragon. And then we just let this run, and we should then get up some awakened draconium. We got this as a reward in the previous episode, so we shall just see how it does. I don't know how long it takes. Probably about the same time as the other one. Ah, yes, you can hear the crushers going now, making some more fuel. I think it's related to the amount of power that's in the network, so for the time. So any second now, it should finish. We can then split these blocks up, because I think we mostly need ingots. So let's just take this out of this awakened draconian block. That's probably a quest, I guess. In fact, I should look at my quest before I do too much as well. So let's then go and make the seed for this. There is a seed for this as well. So Awakened Draconium, which is put in, we only need, in fact, four ingots. We've got to do nine, of course. I don't know if this has got uses in its own right. So look, yes, it does. <laughs> for the Awakened Draconium Crooks, which we don't actually, I don't think we need this. But that space would then be used for the seeds because I reckon that we can actually make the seed a, a different way. So let's have a look at uses of this. We should be able to make the seed in here. So we need four insanium or one seed and four of these, which we can do, no problem at all. And I think in a botany pot, we don't need the crookses, which is actually quite a big saver to tap. So I've got five insanium essence in here. I need, of course, one dirt, which I've probably got in here somewhere, and a. Have I got my tool with me? I'm just having a quick look if I've got it. I can't see it. No, it's in the backpack. I keep it in the backpack these days. The bronze hoe. It's a bit of a risk. <laughs> but let's make up one of these dirts to start with. So dirt, zanium, or oh, and hoe. Where's it gone to? I can't see it again. There it is. Because you'll be able to get one of these insanium farmlands, which we'll need. Then we've got the four insanium for this, for the seed, plus the hoe back again like this. So let's go and make up the seed. It's just over here now, so it's not so difficult. Or well, not so far to go. What do I need? I've got the insanium. I forgot to get the, the, seed, the seed base, so it's no big deal. I'm going to get that in a second. And then we can swap that out for the insanium essence. This, by the way, it takes a lot a, a very large amount of uh, materials in order to get that. So it's a prosperity based siege. I th it was four stacks for a um, supreme essence. So this is then 16 stacks for this one. Let's get that in there. Press the button. So this is our second tier six seed. There we go. So let's go and see if we can plant this somewhere. I have got with me a Hopper, yes, yeah, a bot, hopper botany pot, a set of chest. Of course, it's Christmas time, so we're getting Christmas chests these days, which should disappear tomorrow, I think. So let's go find a place to put this. Things are looking a little bit full around here, <laughs> but I've got a space. Let's go and do it over here. We've got some spaces over here that nobody do. So I need the the chest first of all. Just right click that down. Take the hopper botany pot, just right click that on top of it. If this doesn't work, then I've just got to go and make the, 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 the other bit as well. Actually, we need the insanium farmland first of all. And then we can put the seed in it. I'll see if it grows. If it grows, then we're, yep, it's going to grow. So 
So one minute, 30 seconds or thereabouts, and we should start to get some awakened draconium essence. Fantastic. That saves us making the crooks. We might be able to go faster with the crooks. Um, I have, by the way, I have got 46 with the skeleton skulls, uh, but a lot more than that. I've got a stack and 46 with us skeleton skulls from the spawner in the nether. So let's go and have a look at that now. I'm going to just clear up my inventory before we go. In fact, let's have a look before I do it. Yeah, I'll clear up my inventory and I'll come back in a second. So let's have a look at the quests. Let's claim all the rewards for this. I think they're mostly to do with oh, mystical agriculture. Of course, we've done uh, oh spirited crystal. I didn't tell you about that one. I've done the spirited crystal. And I've also done the necrotic crystals. They're actually not too difficult. We should have a look at those. We've got some elementum seeds, which gives us another reward, which is actually not too bad. Let's take that one. Another round reward, yellow petals, mystical yellow petals. We've got uh, energized steel. I made an energized steel. These are all to do with power, by the way. And a blazing crystal seed, which is also to do with power. And then we get there. Some more stuff. Is that all of them in this particular section? We should have... Oh, nitro crystals. Draconium. Okay, there is no reward for awakened draconium. That's interesting. Draconium evolution. Well, we've done the awakened draconium now. That's good. So we get a reward for that. And these are usually pretty good, actually, when you get these high-level ones. We've already got the dragon heart. Um, so the next thing is what I'm after is the, the draconic fusion crafters. That's what I'm basically targeting. Before we start doing weapons or, or armor upgrades, so I'd like to get this one done. So we can upgrade the sluice. That's all this is really about. And then the recipe for that, is that all of them? I don't know what they've done. Nope, not all the quests done yet. Mechanism. Yes, I built some more mechanism tools. I built this ultimate energy cube. By the recipe, this is the recipe. Let's have a look. View the recipe. So it's these atomic alloys. They're not too difficult. So basically, that's refined obsidian, which we've already made. Especially if you do it in the enriched refined obsidian, it'll give you eight. So basically, this uses. I think it uses four. It should. Sometimes it tells you. Sometimes it doesn't. So then it makes these atomic alloys. So with the seed, this is no problem whatsoever. So these really aren't a problem. So that's why I made it. And it gives you 100 million FE, as you could see before. So that's that one. Let's just claim the reward for that. So we get an expanded coil for that one. And I think that should be all the quests done now. Just press escape and have a look at it again. Because sometimes when you've completed one quest, <laughs> it completes another quest. So let's just put the stuff away that I shouldn't be using yet. This is these. Uh, 64 2 times 64 petals, plus the Britannia stuff, which goes in here. Let's put that into there. Uh, an epic shaber grind. Oh, where did that come from? Must have been one of the rewards, because we've got a few of those already. Because every time you grind a, a dragon, you get one of these. So this um, elementum seeds we'll put away in here to start with. No, we'll put it back here. With the other seeds, which I may or may not plant. It's probably titanium seeds I'm not going to plant, saltpeter seeds. Appetite seeds and lead seeds. I'm probably not going to plant those. Uh, I had done so at one stage, but the ones which were interesting in here were the necrotic seeds, so the power stuff. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, so, for example, I made some blazing crystal seeds. So, these are made by putting some. Well, basically, I was putting blaze rods into the energizer, which it takes 90,000 FE, and it then, then it produces one of these. So four, the use of four of those will actually produce, with uh, Imperium Essence, will produce one of these blazing crystal seeds. The next one up here was the necrotic ones, which is basically on diamonds. So one diamond will make one of these. Did the same thing, but this time it's 300,000 FE for one of those. And the last one of these is the... Uh, emerald version of it which is this one so that but that's one million fe produces one of these and the top there is a nitro nitro is interesting it's one blaze powder two blocks of redstone and one block of blazing crystal none of those are difficult these days so we can go you know, and make some of that I make 16 but requires 220 million fe to do that so we'll have a quick look upstairs because we're going to go to the end now uh, not the end, we're going to go to the nether. So what I did here is I set up a bit of simple redstone. I put a hopper on top of it, and then I drew from here. As soon as this has got one item in here, this 
compare to emit a redstone signal of one, which we then boost to 15 with this, and it comes back down here and then goes into the hopper. So it'll just drop one item at a time into here. If I want to put multiple items in here, that's no big deal. I'll just put multiple items on. Underneath it, I've got another hopper pointing into this chest, so anything that gets made will get automatically fed through here. At the same time as the, the machines I built last time, I've got a Furnator starter, a uh, hardened Furnator, which we... Furnator, sorry. <laughs> and then we've got the energy cell here, which I probably want to upgrade. I've also put on a solar panel. So this and a lava one here. And <laughs> we're making lava, of course, from cobblestone. So everything's reasonably efficient, and that cobblestone gets fed in here with an, um, a fluid pipe, as you can see. Right, so that's all of that covered, and I don't think there's anything else I want to cover in there. Let's go in here. Now, I've been coming out here and not bothering to drink potions of fire resistance. This time I am going to, because we're going to have a look at the... Um, let's check the jetpacks on... Turn it on, and we're going to kind of have a look at this, where I put a mob, there was a blaze spawner. And on the blaze, we get there fairly quickly, I see. And I've built around it, this contraption here. So this is a, uh, let's go down here. So this is a seared tank, uh, a, sorry, a, a, a smell tree. And in here I've got some, you can't, you can see it. I've got some glass in here, so they can't see me. So I'm, I'm sort of covered by glass and the mobs are going to spawn and as they spawn and I've forgotten to bring some lava with me it doesn't matter much because we've got we've got a lot of lava in here we've got six buckets of blazing blood and each time one gets it uses lava up very quickly as you can see it's like is it 15 million buckets per and then that's producing it's producing quite a lot of blazing blood really quickly so in here i put in a duct i think that was just a mistake uh, i have to be honest with you here i've got a seared shoot which is taking stuff out and what it's taking out is inferior essence and mob salt because those those end up in the in the smeltery here so we don't want those in so oh, as you can see i just there one one went through there as you can see and came into here put those back into there we don't need this with us at the time and here I had a fluid tank on a seared drain. And I put the tank beside this and then it just fills up the tank, no problem whatsoever. So that's it. I was going to put some steps in here, wasn't I? In fact, I can do that. Let's just do this. Let's just break. I've got some seared ladders here. Actually, let's use them. this pick. This is where you're only going to need my protection because you'll see that they're going to spawn here like that and they start, they're going to start shooting me so let's just put that up there and then we can actually have a quick look up at how it works I've got my jetpack on so I don't need a jetpack on put the third one down here let's turn the jetpack off have a quick look again so you can see they they don't get aggroed and when they don't get aggroed they go down so when they're down, they just end up in this smeltery and we're just producing more and more blazing blood. As you can see, we have now nine buckets. Why that one hasn't been taken out? Ah, probably because this has changed. Now, this is strange, actually, because I did this. I did this last time. Let's just come out of here and put into... Let's get another um, potion of fire resistance and also get the wrench, the pipe wrench. I'm absolutely sure I did the, this pipe wrench last time when I was here. So let's just do it again. So that then should start to take that out of there. And this should now be empty. There we go, as you can see. So that's how that works, fine. And of course, the, the, the other spawner, which we also had a look at, put my jetpack back on again now, is the one over here. And as you can see, <laughs> mobs are getting ground right. I can turn that off now. So we go down here, you see, enough. So in here we've got XP, which I'm not doing anything with. But in here we've got a lot of stuff. So I'll get rid of the swords. In fact, I can get rid of all of the swords. All of the gold swords, by the way, have exactly the same um, uh, durability. Like I think it's like zero. So with, the, with these, we can simply just put that away in here. Don't need that one. 
as you can see the amount of stuff we've got in here is enormous we've got 29 with the skeleton skulls and i don't know how long that's been doing let's take all of these out of here like this let's give it a quick sort so things will actually go in properly And I don't even know how long that was. Let's get that another sort. So let's take these out of here. As you can see, necrotic bones have got stacks and stacks of necrotic bones. Lots of gold nuggets too, for that matter. Right, tell you what, I'm going to take this home and I'll be back in a second. Because uh, I want to go and visit one of those other places. So I'll see you in a second. So, I'm back again. We're going to go over here. There's two spawners I want to show you. One of them's this one. This one basically is a load of skeletons it's got a load of skeleton spawners so the way i deal with this one is i just take a bucket here break a, a break a spot around about the middle like this oh there's a blaze or something like that not blaze um a gas due to me i think but just put some lava in here like that very mean i know <laughs> and that'll kill most of the skeletons in here that's one way to do it so I've got this, and I'll just put the jet back on again just, be just before I go down here. And then we can come along here, get the pick in my hand here. And we want to put in the offhand some torches. So let's get those out of there. In fact, I've got probably the wrong armour on for this particular visit. Let's just put on some of the right armour. Uh, let's put these in somewhere. It would be a nasty place, but never mind. And we also wanted some torches. Like this. Um... So what I want to do now is I want to put the torches into my offhand. Let's put the armor back on again, because it's better for this type of stuff. Get back on, let's just go down. Oops, let's just go down here. And then break this spot here like this with the with the pickaxe. If I can. And then we can put on here the torch. And then they'll stop spawning basically. And what's good in here is you'll find quite a lot of barrels. There's another one here. Let's break this one down. Put, oops, put a torch in there and do the same over here as well and then they should actually disappear slowly right put a, to oh, put a torch on the barrel which is not going to help very much Just put they'll start shooting each other which is good too <laughs> okay so what we can now do is we can just take this axe here and hit them and I think this axe is it's a new axe I've just built so let's just break this now so we need the big axe there's one more down here it takes a long time I think that was from something else so we so we go around here we just break these these bits here make sure we've got rid of all the mobs so they don't spawn anymore as you can see I think there's one over there So we get the axe in our hand over here and we should be able to get him like that. And that's it. They're all they're all gone now, I guess. Good. But there is a trip wire here, you can see that. So let's get rid of this bar, oh, first of all. I want the pickaxe, don't I? I'm dropping down too fast, don't like it. <laughs> I was hoping for it to be like creative flight, so you don't drop down. Okay, so now we can take away this. We don't need this anymore. We've got torches all around, so we'll just make sure there's a few more torches, just to be safe. And then we can break this, uh, take away the lava. And then we can put the lava down here somewhere. Let's just put it on top of that, so it spreads out and goes down. And we'll take it away with us. So here we've got this dispenser, it's got some fire charges in and some hours of swiftness. So you've, you've got to watch out for those things, they're nasty, <laughs> as you can see. So. We'll, break away the dispenser we'll break away the that's nothing's going to happen we just come across a crate so we've got to take another crate what did i get that time i got a record and a saddle which is not bad and in fact there's just one more over here and i don't think there are any downstairs but the reason i've left the this bucket of lava here which we'll collect again so it's handy to have a bucket of lava and we'll put onto that a torch now, there should be no mobs downstairs. We'll just have a quick look. So there should be no dark spaces either. Let's just press F7 and see if there's anything down here. 
there's nothing down here. Um, probably the, probably need to go down here and put some torches down here because there are dark spaces down here, which will allow them off to spawn. So basically this one's now cleared out, nothing else in here. So once you've done the top bit, it's fine, you can go down. Um, now I just need to put, go and eat some more of this potions of fire resistance because the other one's gone. And I want to have a look at the map before we go anywhere. Because here, I want to go this direction. And there's one of, the, one of the other ones that we need to go and attack. So I'm going to get into my hand, my best pickaxe, which is not this one. It's actually this one. So off we go. Might get back on. And here we've got one of these domes. Now these are... Oh, um, this is dome we can find, we've got, oh actually we're alright, we've not got too much in here. But you can see here we've got some, we'll break this one first of all because this is that one, and we'll break the second one down here because that'll be blazes I think. Can we reach that? Yeah, right. So we just need to get rid of the, you can aggro on us and then the, the blazer, the, which is the one to see, God, difficult. And then the zombie pigman will kill him, so that's fine. There's another blaze. Oh, there's a blaze. Somebody over there. Let me just get this guy. But to be a bit careful, because normally they aren't around here. Oh, there's another spawner. Did I not? Alright, yeah, so they should be aggroed on him now. <laughs> It's not though. Where have they gone to? I missed a spawner here. Let's take number one. So we've got all of these crates, as you can see. And the last time I came to one of these, there was a small crate, which are really hard to find. So let's just break these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the uh, Alt Grav key, and that should. No, it didn't. And I've got no space. But the zombie pigment are fine, so that's fine. Let's just go and put this stuff away somewhere. I've got a green shulker box here. Let's just put this one down. And we should be able to put everything into it then. So we've got the arrows, lanterns. I don't know where they came from, actually. Oh, we've got some draconium ore. That's quite nice. Uh, I think most of this stuff can go into there. Yes, it can. Energized. I think that was also one. Have I got anything that I did not put in take with me? No, I think that's everything, isn't it? Okay, let's break the box. We can have something to eat. So that's how you deal with these as well. That's quite an easy way to deal with them. I think it is anyway. So let's just go back home and I'll see you when I'm there. Actually, we haven't looked at this structure either. This is another one. I think in here there's a piglins, which is okay. All we need to do for that one is then come along here, get into our backpack, and swap the boots out. I've got some gold boots in here. So let's just put those on. And then you wear aggro on us. And I think that's a, a piglin. So let's come along here. I can get into it. I actually have to get in the middle, don't I? Turn off the jetpack because it's annoying me. Oh no. Here we are. There's some steps down here. I'm not sure if there's any other mobs in here. Let's have a look. Yeah, they won't, they won't aggro on us because we've got golden boots on. So that Have a look down here. <laughs> if I can get down, that is. So we get some chests and things in here. So let's just break the chest. Oh, we got another record. And I think that's basically. Oh, yes, there's some more barrels in here too as well. Green barrels, red barrels, flower pots, uh, gold barrels. We get that time. Oh, a starfish. I don't think I've learned the starfish. What does that one do? Oh yeah, extra XP. Oh, I have learned the starfish. <laughs> and there's another layer down here. And this we can get some 
Actually, we can get some gold blocks if you want some gold. I don't need any. Crying obsidian, that's quite nice to have too. And then, of course, you can just get the, the barrels like this. And there's a purple one. Actually, purple ones are generally good. This time I've got sp more sponges. I don't need those to be dead on. So we've got stacks of sponges. Now, this is the bottom level. Underneath this is just lava. Right, I'll see you when I'm back home. So, back at base, and I've cleared out my inventory a bit. The one thing I didn't have a look at... Hmm, I wonder if that's... I wonder if we get mob spawning, because this mega torch isn't actually working as well as it should do. Anyway, I've got another trinket here. What's this one? I've got rock candy. So, rarity, movement speed, so we can right learn that one. Uh, the one I really want is tea leaf, but that would be a good one. So, down here, I have been planting... Hydrolux seeds. I tried to do this in the base, and I bet you can see I've gone down to different levels here. And I think, I'm not 100% sure about this, you can bring these down and they open up when they're at lower de depths. So here we've got some uh, higher depths, but it doesn't matter that much. Here we've got all sorts, and there's actually a platform. I could not do this in, in the base at all because the glass base, but the way you can put these down here in the middle of nowhere was an angel block. Have I got an angel block with me? I might have the angel block with me. It might be in this bag here. This one. The, with the main angel block from any utilities, you can just place it down wherever you want to. So, for instance, we want to break it here. We put it down, and then you've got this block. And then from that block, you can build. To break it, you just left click it. Uh, left click it, or break it with a pickaxe. And it comes straight back into your inventory. It doesn't go anywhere else. It goes straight into your inventory. So we've got plenty of hydrolux here. So I can farm those up, plant the seed uh, saplings again, and we'll get some more. So that's how that works. That was the last thing I want to cover today, actually. But we'll have a quick look at downstairs again. I'm stuck. Funny, I get stuck sometimes. <laughs> Why am I get stuck? Ah, uh, probably because I've got slowness. Yeah, I've not got the right. I've not got. I've got the other arm on now, so it's not as effective. <laughs> so I'll change that in a second before we go and do any more water stuff. But I have noticed that with the um, diving gear on, so let's put the diving gear on like this. Take these off. Go back to the, the chest here. Put these back on. Where did they all go to? Flippers and the beer head. There we go. Diving mask. One thing that's rather nice about this, isn't it? it's not obvious, because I've got the turtle. I go down here, for instance, and my oxygen gets used up, and it gets used up reasonably quickly. We get all sorts of areas in here, which have normally been filling in. So what I was trying to do is putting down sulfuric rock here and then planting the seed. But I guess because we've got glass above our heads, it didn't work. I'm not 100% sure. But then you can come along here, you can then go and explore these areas, uh, as you can see. But the oxygen goes down, and what happens is it goes down to 44. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second when we've gone down to 44. Well, it's gone down to 90 today, don't ask me why. And it's stuck there, it's not going down any lower than that, so I'm not using it any more air at all, it's just stuck there. But we're not getting the negative effects, so we're not getting slowness for and um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, mining fatigue for. We just don't get those, so we just get normal. Then you come out again, your oxygen's back up again. So it's really quite handy. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, next time, we're going to get, see if I've got enough materials to make some look at. So what I want to make is the Draconic Fusion Crafting Injector. So for that, we need a box of Awakened Draconium. That shouldn't be too difficult. We need eight of those, especially with the seed. We'll have a look at that. We've got these wyvern cores. Wyvern cores are basically four Draconium cores, which is basically four diamonds, four Draconium ingots another star and some more draconium it's a lot of draconium basically and some diamonds and like this and then we should be able to make these up and we need to make uh, eight nine of those to place these here there's one inside it should be so that's what i'm planning to do next let's go and have a quick look at that seed that we just planted earlier on and see how we're doing with ingots so we've got 13 of these and the uses of that We'll make oh there's a lot <laughs> one of these it's typical so we need three nuggets it's exactly the same as another stars as well by the way and this is the uses of those or three of those will probably make oh you can actually upgrade things with it 
but you can also probably craft it into nine. I've just missed it, didn't I? And it was two. So it craft it into an ingot. So after a while, we'll get some ingot. But we actually need to crew any ingots, so we don't need a wake, and that's just for the blocks. Um, and they are over here, and they are presumably doing all right. I haven't been to these for a while. 52, yes. They're very random in terms of speed, because they're all planted on the same on the same oil here uh, oil soil <laughs> da -da. right and the next thing is this i did actually install here a garden cloche they've got one and a half stacks almost a garden cloche with a with a seed and it's also got bone meal in to give it um extra fertilizer it gives a fertilizer at 1.25 i have to check so there's another one that's higher than that and i want to compare that against the uh, inferior seeds that I've got to, uh, which are emptied at around about the same time, and you'll notice that there's actually no difference. <laughs> they all got emptied at the same time, and some of these have got more. So the botany parts are just as good as the uh, closures, so I wouldn't bother using the closures because it's more complicated to set up. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And next time we shall be carrying on with some more draconic evolution. Until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.